You didn't think it was a real kiss, did you? No. Why, did you? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most long-awaited cartoon kisses. Uh, nothing. Sorry. See ya. <sighs> What if... what if I don't come back? Aang, don't say that. Of course he'll... Wow, that was worth the wait. Yes, yes it was. For this list, we'll be looking at those overdue romantic moments that had us swooning in our seats. Which characters were you dying to see lock lips? Tell us about it in the comments below. Number 10, Adora and Catra, She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. This couple took us on quite the ride over the 52 episodes of the series. Adora and Catra were raised together as best friends. When Adora left the Horde behind, Catra's hurt and anger merged with her ambition, and the two found themselves as outright enemies. There's no arguing that this pair put each other through a lot, but it was still clear that neither one ever stopped caring. After they find their way back to the same side, repairing their relationship takes work, but the bond between them is unshakable. Don't you get it? I love you! I always have! So please, just this once, stay! By the series finale, they finally realized what we all knew and gave us the moment we'd been dying to see. You love me. <laughs> You're such an idiot. You too. Number 9. Star Butterfly and Marco Diaz – Star vs. the Forces of Evil Their souls may be bound together, but that doesn't mean these two best friends had an easy road. While they make a great team, it still took them some time to get on the same page about their feelings for each other. Initially, it looked like Marco didn't return Star's romantic interest in him. I just blacked out. Go on. Well, I was caught off guard by it, and then, like a Marco, I never brought it up again. And that stunk. After they both date other people and suffer countless missed connections, Marco finally recognizes his love for Star. It's getting harder to end up on these adventures, pretending things aren't different. Are they? They are for me. Oh. Oh. Oh! At long last, after 53 episodes of waiting, we get to see these two share a sweet kiss. The moment was interrupted quickly, and it would still take a while for them to get together, but this kiss gave us hope. Number 8. Danny Phantom and Sam Manson. Danny Phantom. Talk about a tease. For 53 episodes, Danny and Sam were all about the fake-out makeout. Unwilling to acknowledge their feelings for one another, this couple would only kiss as a diversionary tactic. Of course, they never wanted to address why they were so willing to use that particular method. You didn't think it was a real kiss, did you? No. Why, did you? When the end of the series rolled around, though, there was nothing left to lose. With the fate of the world on the line, Sam finally kisses Danny for real, and our own spirits lift into the stratosphere when we see Danny kiss her back. <laughs> Series endings are always a little sad, but it was easier to let go knowing we were leaving Sam and Danny together where they belonged. And I don't care what's coming next. I just hope that whatever it is, you're there to share it with me. I will be. Number 7. Kim Possible and Ron Stoppable – Kim Possible At the dawn of the millennium, Kim Possible was the badass girl spy we all wanted to be, and Ron Stoppable was great moral support. Come on, KP! Yeah! All right! Still, while their skill sets were a bit mismatched, this pair always had an undeniable chemistry. Like many great couples, it took them some time to realize that what they had was more than just a strong friendship. Well, actually, it took time and a handsome synthodrone sent by Dr. Draken, but you know. Kim and Ron were quick to make their relationship official when they showed up together at prom. It finally happened. She's dating that loser. Kim Possible and Ron Stoppable are dating? <laughs> It 
it's the most natural thing in the world to see their passionate first kiss only moments later. After 60 episodes, what would be the point in waiting? Could it be that it's true that it's you? Could it be and it's you? Number 6. Aang and Katara, Avatar The Last Airbender For Aang, this relationship was definitely love at first sight. Katara took a little longer to reciprocate his feelings, though. Aang mostly kept his crush to himself while he was busy saving the world, but the series did tease the ship a few times along the way. The almost kiss in the cave of two lovers was just about surviving, but we still felt a little let down when it was interrupted. That's how the two lovers found each other. They just put out their lights and followed the crystals. That must be the way out! So, um, let's go! On the day of the Black Sun, Aang made a bigger gesture to a shocked Katara before they invaded the Fire Nation. What if... what if I don't come back? Aang, don't say that. Of course he'll... Ooh. It wasn't until the last moments of the series, though, 61 episodes in, that Aang and Katara finally shared a kiss and made their relationship official. Number 5. Gumball Watterson and Penny Fitzgerald – The Amazing World of Gumball Unlike some other couples on this list, Gumball and Penny have always been aware of their feelings for each other. They do, however, struggle to express those feelings. I wasn't really hungry. <laughs> no, silly. I was the peanut butter. What? Oh, uh, I was supposed to be the jelly, wasn't I? You seriously didn't understand? They shared a few near kisses, usually at inopportune moments. <laughs> the 96th series episode, The Shell, starts out with another kiss gone wrong. When Gumball accidentally cracks Penny's shell, she reveals her true form. You're right! I'm gonna do it! That's it! Break free, Penny! Hey, here we go! I'm gonna be myself! Unfortunately, she thinks Gumball's reaction is a rejection and flees before he can stop her. It all works out in the end, of course. Gumball finally manages to catch up to Penny and make his feelings known. But do you really think you could love? That's not what you are. It's just how you feel. And this is how I feel. As these two share their long-awaited kiss, all we see is the beauty of true love. Number 4. Philip J. Fry and Leela, Futurama This show was better known for its absurdist humor than its deep emotions, but that didn't stop us from getting invested in the love story of Fry and Leela. With seven seasons between their first meeting and the full embrace of their relationship, this romance is the definition of a slow burn. This really is lovely, Fry. Thank you. Uh -huh. The two had shared other kisses over the years. Notably, Leela tried to kiss some humanity back into Fry in the third season. This is for you. Beep. Oh, for God's sake! Something about their kiss in the 131st episode, Fry and Leela's Big Fling, just feels like the most significant, though. Well, the important thing is, we're finally alone. For the first time, we see them unambiguously coupled up and happy together. Plus, once the Pizza Planet Express gang was in on the news, there really was no turning back. Number 3. Ruby and Sapphire – Steven Universe Ruby and Sapphire's committed relationship was always one of the sweetest things about Steven Universe. You changed my life. And then I changed your life. And now we change our lives. From the very beginning, there was no doubt that these two gems were head over heels for each other. Not only was their eventual engagement a milestone for LGBTQ plus representation on TV, but it was just heart-meltingly adorable. This way we could be together even when we're apart. This time, being Garnet will be our decision. What do you say? 
Of course. While we always enjoyed their affectionate displays, it took a staggering 152 episodes before we got to see them kiss for real. Ruby, do you take this gem to have and to hold on this and every other planet in the universe? I do! And Sapphire, do you- Yes. You didn't let me finish. I'm just very excited. After all that buildup, their wedding smooch was everything we'd been waiting for. As they fused into Garnet, it was impossible not to see this pair for the perfect soulmates they are. Number 2. Phineas Flynn and Isabella Garcia Shapiro, Phineas and Ferb This show never played coy with Isabella's affection for Phineas. Between her vivid daydreams and her constant willingness to join his adventures, it's obvious that the girl is smitten. It's just that Phineas had been too distracted to notice. After all, there's only 104 days of summer vacation. Except that his cluelessness lasted way beyond that. 221 episodes into the series, we time jump 10 years into the future when Phineas is finally made aware of Isabella's feelings. When she looked at you, her pupils actually formed little hearts. Like, I do not know how that is physically possible. She changed her eyeballs. I don't believe it. Ferb? Worried he may have lost his chance, Phineas tracks down Isabella to finally confess his mutual attraction. It's about time. <laughs> we have been trying to get you two together all day. The two share a romantic kiss before she leaves for college, and we all have to agree with her assessment. Wow, that was worth the wait. Yes, yes it was. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Rigby and Eileen, regular show. 261 episodes to get the kiss we were waiting for. Mordecai and Margaret, regular show. After 105 episodes, it was up to Margaret to take the lead. Uh, nothing. Sorry. See ya. <sighs> Ben and Julie, Ben 10 Alien Force, and Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. 98 episodes of Worth It. Ben. That was totally worth giving up all that power. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Princess Bubblegum and Marceline the Vampire Queen – Adventure Time It took a gobsmacking 280 episodes, but one of the most beloved animated romances of our time finally received confirmation. Though their opposite personalities initially caused Princess Bubblegum and Marceline to butt heads, their attraction was ultimately irresistible. Bonnie, thank you for helping me grow up. Now I guess we get to hang out together forever. The show sprinkled hints of a relationship throughout the seasons, like Princess Bubblegum sleeping in Marceline's shirt. However, it wasn't until the series finale that their love was made explicit. As is so often the case, it took the near end of the world for us to see this couple kiss. Nothing never happening to me. Never. I know, I'm... Pearl, you phrased that so weird. I might have a concussion. <laughs> it was a joyful, cathartic moment that we can rewatch over and over again. A true happily ever after is Marceline and Princess Bubblegum together at last. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.